Uh, what's good, Knicks Nation? Salute. We got more Knicks preseason basketball, so let's get into it. The New York Knicks faced the Minnesota Timberwolves at Madison Square Garden tonight. Both teams played their starters, and this game felt like it was the middle of the regular season based on their physicality. Whether it was driving the lane and finishing through contact, driving, diving for loose balls, or even Nas Reed and RJ Barrett getting chippy. This game would have had you thinking there were some playoff implications. But of course, this is only preseason. Now, Brunson didn't get a lot of burn because he already has miles from the FIBA World Cup. And let's be honest, we already know he's ready for the regular season. But that doesn't mean the rest of the stars didn't get their opportunity to, sh to put some work in and shine. And tonight, the spotlight was on engine, engine number nine, Broadway Barrett. RJ would drop 23 points to keep up with, keep pace with Nas Reed's 20. Whether it was di driving to the cup, drawing fouls and knocking them down, and driving and drilling some threes, RJ was feeling it tonight. But at the end of the day, his effort and the rest of the Knicks roster wasn't enough to secure that dub. Ultimately, the Knicks would lose to the T-Wolves 112 to 121. Them's the breaks sometimes, but don't worry, it's only preseason, and we're going to talk about all that here. You know what, Alex? The, the, the important thing to note is that this game did not count. So all hmm. the Knicks fans were panicked. Don't worry. Nas Reed will not do this, I would hope, in the regular season when these two teams actually play. Uh, but interesting game, I'll say. It, it did kind of feel like a regular season game, especially at points in that first half. When the Knicks actually had their starters out there, it felt like they were winning. They were they were winning a lot of those matchups. I mean, Jalen Brunson didn't play a ton tonight. Uh, you didn't see you know the true Knicks in this game. But you, there were some interesting things to watch from a you know preseason storyline standpoint. Evan Fournier trying to find a spot in the rotation. I don't know if that's possible, but he had some moments tonight. So there's definitely some things that we could get into here. But you know, big picture, kind of what you would expect from a preseason game, where by the end, a lot of the guys out there for the Knicks in the fourth quarter. We weren't even like bench players, right? We're talking about guys that are just reserves trying to scrap and make the team mm -hmm. you know, be be part of this final roster. Look, man, like you said, and, and like I just said at the top, this game felt like it was a regular season. Like it was very chippy, man. Like I, even seeing like Josh Hart diving into the stands for a loose ball, seeing Dante DiVincenzo diving on the floor for a loose ball. You see Dante out there just ripping a steal again, his second dunk of the game. Like this game had regular season written all over it. I like it. Tibbs has his team in midseason form already, and it's already the preseason. I can't wait to see what happens for this team when we get Jalen Brunson playing a full 32-plus minutes because it's going to look a lot different, right? And, of course, like when you shorten down the rotation, right, Tibbs is giving extended minutes to guys like McBride. We're even getting some Isaiah Roby minutes today. Evan Fournier playing a lot of minutes. I'm sure this is just a showcase and to even give him, like, a fair shot to see if you, can, if you expand it to 10, right? Um even Jericho Sims at the four. There's a lot going on for Tibbs right now just to mix and match lineups. Uh, for me, I'm going to start off with, one, with this. I tweeted it out, is that one thing I want to see, though, going into this season. Jake, and I want to know your feelings about this. Quentin Grimes, you know, before Josh Hart was acquired by the trade deadline last year, right? He he had the two spots solidified, was a closer, um, and just like a good defender, right? We already know he's a good defender, 3 and D guy, but... With Dante DiVincenzo here, having Emmanuel quickly, Josh Hart, RJ, you got Brunson too. The guard position is just, it's very stacked right now. Uh, Rhymes really to stand out. I'd like to see him get minutes with that second unit. This is a huge year for him, right, going into his third season. You're, you're expecting him to take a step. They even talked about this on the MSG broadcast tonight. Alan Hahn was all over this. So, you know, it's one of those things where you are right. There are a ton of competitive minutes that are up for grabs at the guard spot. Grimes at the second unit would be fascinating, but here's a guy that you know that Tibbs would love to have maybe out there in some spots closing out the game because of his defensive prowess. I think it just comes down to consistency with him. You know, what version are you going to get on a game-in, game-out basis? You see it in flashes. He only played 22 minutes tonight, but when he was out there, he made some plays. He did have two steals tonight. So, you know, he's someone that you look at and, and he, to me, will have a big role on the team this year. It's just a matter of what specifically is that role going to be. Is he going to be with the second unit? And it kind of seems like early on maybe that is what, what that role will look like at the beginning of the season. But let's move on to the next thing, man, because like I said earlier, R.J. Barrett came out tonight, man. Broadway Barrett, 23 points, went 6 for 15 from the field, 2 of 8 for downtown, 9 of 12 from the free throw line, man. Now he only had two assists, two rebounds. Uh, he also had two steals. But... Look, man, I, I know 
The question is for RJ's efficiency. I know we want to see him shoot the three ball better, but the 23 points, man, I, him finishing through contact, him knocking down most of his free throws, that's encouraging for me. I will also say the step back jumpers. He Hitting a mid-range today for me was like, whoa, that's a big step because we haven't seen that in a few years. Uh, that snake dribble that he did in year two on the Knicks. But then a step back mid-range jumper and a step back three. I was like, we'll get this guy go. Uh, I like what I saw from RJ Barrett tonight. Obviously, it comes with consistency. Can he do this? Because we know he could put up numbers like this. Can he be consistent on it? Uh, uh, throughout, through enough games throughout the regular season where it helps take a level because if it's going to be that same season or what we've seen most from him, like these very high highs and low lows, it's going to be another, I won't say tough sledding because the Knicks were still able to get 47 wins last year, but there will be close matchups that were like, ah, oh, you know, if we just had RJ show out a little bit more, but tonight was, it was an encouraging night uh, from RJ. What did you think about his performance? You said one of the big things. He hit his free throws, and this has been a trend throughout the preseason, so I hope that continues. In 9 of 12 tonight, he had been good in the in in the, the other game that Knicks played the other night against Boston. Uh, when RJ is really aggressive and he gets confidence, he's an offensive force. Now, the, the thing with RJ Barrett, as every Knicks fan watching knows, that consistency has not always been there. There's still time for him to find it. And when we saw RJ Barrett have some huge moments in that Cleveland Cavaliers first round series last year. So like the, the talent is there. He's still a young player. I know he's been on the Knicks now for several years, but one thing with RJ Barrett is he's, he's still young enough where he can get better. I know we say, Oh, if, you, if you're not great by year three, you've hit your plateau. I don't know if I necessarily buy that with him. I see a guy who is improving, mm. who is getting better. You know, a part of the Knicks, strategy, if you will, this offseason, Alex, is, hey, that superstar was not available for us to, you know, cash in our chips and make that move. So we're going to run it back with continuity in this young team we have coming together. You know, R.J. Barrett is still part of that young core that could take another step forward here. So I, I've been encouraged by what I've seen tonight. He had a good game tonight. Now, how much does that really mean once the regular season counts? I mean, we'll find out. But him hitting his free throws, that's going to give him an extra four to five points a night right there if he's able to really get his shooting percentage up from the line.